It's hard to believe, but we are now 16 years into the global war on terror. Today, there are some signs of success in the Middle East against the Islamic extremists known as ISIS. U.S. and coalition forces have retaken Iraq's capital, Mosul, from ISIS hands. And the terrorists are losing ground in Syria. But knocking down ISIS in one spot means their battle-hardened fighters are turning up in new places you probably haven't heard much about. That happened this summer when ISIS-linked insurgents joined established Islamic extremists in the Philippines. We went to Southeast Asia and the islands of the southern Philippines region of Mindanao, where kidnappings, firefights, and the threat of terrorism are growing. These tropical islands and pristine beaches disguise a dangerous reality. After our nighttime arrival in a province called Mindanao in the southern Philippines, we're riding in a caravan guarded by armed security forces. Mindanao is the target of U.S. State Department travel warnings due to terrorist fighting and kidnappings. This is Zamboanga City, which is under martial law as the country attempts to contain Islamic extremist violence, which has been bubbling up recently. We're invited to board military fast boats accompanied by heavily armed commandos. It's the safest way to see the worst areas. Our guide is a hero in this long-standing war against Islamic extremist terrorists, General Lito Sobihana. He heads up a joint task force of the Philippine military. Today, the general and his men are actively working to save more than a dozen kidnap victims held by Islamic extremists. The day before, one of the general's men was shot and six terrorists killed. Was the fighting yesterday related to the kidnappings or something? Yes, different? it's part of our uh, rescue effort. The battle actually goes back decades. That island is the island province of uh, Basilan. Uh, I was stationed there uh, in the 90s and uh, I was even uh, wounded. Uh, that island, uh, seriously wounded, because I had uh, five gunshot wounds all over my body and several uh, sharp. Fighting Abu Sayyaf. Fighting is, uh, Abu Sayyaf. Abu Sayyaf is considered one of the most violent Islamic jihadist groups, responsible for the Philippines' worst terrorist attack, the 2004 bombing of a ferry that murdered 116 people. Sobahana received the Philippine Medal of Honor for his heroics in fighting Abu Sayyaf in the 90s. Two decades later, Abu Sayyaf is now said to be lining up with ISIS, prompting some to make the argument that Islamic extremism in the Philippines deserves more of the world's attention. We are now in the middle of the two islands of Santa Cruz. This is, uh, these islands are part of Zamboanga. And, uh, from... Earlier, we spoke with General Sobihana at Camp Navarro, headquarters of the Western Mindanao Command. Could you explain in just a sentence or two to the American audience what the fighting is about? Well, initially, they followed the ideology of uh, establishing uh, Islamic independence in, in Mindanao. Islamic separatists here in the southern Philippines, he says, have been using violence to try to break away and establish an Islamic state. We're there when the general takes a call from the frantic wife of a hostage. If she doesn't pay a ransom, the terrorists say they'll behead him. But there's a strict no-ransom policy. ISIS didn't pioneer the notion of violently establishing an international Islamic state or caliphate. Muslim extremists in Mindanao have been conducting a terrorist campaign for an independent Islamic state since the 1970s. We've had uh, reports and information coming in that there's been foreign fighters uh, from Saudi, from Yemen, etc., cetera, uh, down in, in Mindanao for four years now. Jean Yu is a former Green Beret with U.S. Special Forces supporting Philippine troops fighting the terrorists. He now helps run a private security firm here. He says with ISIS losing its footing in Iraq and Syria, seasoned fighters fleeing the Mideast are now showing up in the Philippines where there are many sympathizers. These guys are battle-hardened uh, fighters or terrorists that have survived essentially the war going head-to-head -head with Western military and special operations. These people are not dumb, okay? They're not incompetent fighters, right? To survive that long, only the best guys have survived that long. In May, fighting escalated when hundreds of terrorists attacked the Philippine army in the region's island city of Marawi, population 200,000. 
Civilians were taken hostage, thousands fled. Nearly the entire city was later evacuated. After months of fighting, 400 terrorists were dead. So were more than 100 civilians and Philippine troops. After the latest siege in Marawi, the Philippines has requested additional support from America in its ongoing fight against Islamic extremists. And the field commanders in the Philippines. In a recent hearing in the U.S., Joint Chiefs of Staff Vice Chairman General Paul Selva suggested that with ISIS now moving into the Philippines, it might be time for a new commitment. Or else he said there would be a possible long-term catastrophe. In every case where we see the resurgence of terror networks, particularly in the fragile areas of the southern Philippines, I think it's worth considering whether or not we reinstate a named operation. The ongoing battle is what prompted Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte to declare emergency martial law in May in the Muslim-majority region. It allows the military to act as the police and to make arrests without warrants. The declaration of martial law has sparked some criticism, both in the Philippines and internationally. We were there in July when their Congress voted overwhelmingly to extend martial law through the end of the year. We also found support for martial law on the streets of Zamboanga from people actually living under the terrorist threat. Do you support the martial law? Yes, for, for the peace and order of this country, especially in Mindanao. Do most people support martial law, do you think, most people who live here? Yes. Our this man sells pork at a local market and worries about terrorists coming from the Mideast and connecting with local groups like Abu Sayyaf. This martial law here in the Philippines, in, in, in Mindanao, is favorable for us. Here in the southern Philippines, there are places where tourists and locals can't move freely without fear of being snatched off the street by Muslim terrorist thugs who raise money demanding ransom. The beheading of this Canadian tourist last year sparked an international outrage. Four more victims were captured right before our visit. Well, uh, right now in my area of responsibility, that is the whole province of Brazilian, there are 20. Uh, it used to be 16, and uh, there were four additional uh, victims. Kidnapped. Kidnapped victims, yes. And uh, we are uh, trying our best effort uh, to rescue them safely. Uh, we have that policy of no ransom, so we do not allow uh, ransom money to uh, get into the hands of uh, the abductors. He knows where the terrorists are, he says, but can't simply blow them up because they hide among their wives, children, and community. Meantime, General Sobihana continues in his third decade of fighting a familiar and brutal enemy. We've talked to some observers who really want this to obviously get under control because they fear people like the Islamic State and other extremists could see this as an opening uh, this region to come in and spread more ideologically based violence here. Um, do you worry about that happening? Well, uh, I think uh, there are indicators that they are here already. Should we be worried about that? Well, I think uh, we should uh, do something uh, about it so that the, their number will not uh, uh, become large. They're working to keep a migrating threat in the war on terror from establishing a new beachhead in Southeast Asia. As for the battleground in the city of Marawi, after three months of fighting, Philippine troops have retaken control. The government estimates it'll cost over a billion dollars to rebuild what the Islamic terrorists destroyed.